It's Friday. It's January 27, 2023. Um, I'm preparing myself to get out um, and go exercise. Um, I'm watching yesterday. I don't have um, three dimensional whatever interactive personal constants uh, other than the cosmological constants that I birthed into this area of time capsule or time encapsulate in incarnate. Um, to speak, not plain English, but to speak almost Shakespearean. Um, I find solace somewhere outside of the plain English. Um, for the plain English is so simple and stupefied. It's so painfully boring. Um, yesterday, one of the two dimensional friends on Facebook that I've never met, can't verify, have no idea who they are in real life. Um, same as like the TV characters. Are they real? In somebody else's three dimension, they're real. In my three dimension, they're not. They're just some paid for spokesperson in a set of gears of war that were going on prior to my arrival. Um, so I am watching, um, so yesterday, one of the two dimensional friends, uh, on Facebook puts up physics.org, which again, um, I don't really go on the internet. So, but he had this, it, the photo, the dramatic photo, like really like frequency for me, it was just like a moth to a flame. I was just like, whoa, that, that looks really interesting. Um, it, and then the article itself, the words, the way, the conjecture. I mean, it was a full thought and it was brushed on and into words, the abstract, so beautiful, like a master at a canvas. I, it was, I, I, it was easy for me to read, um, like Shakespeare, some of Shakespeare is very easy for me to connect with. And then there's other parts of Shakespeare where I need the plain English to kind of center and, do, and like recenter myself. Um, so I'm watching, um, the, so I was reading yesterday in physics about, um, this one particular two dimensional character that's friends with me who's on my Facebook feed, um, who I don't really have this, like, I mean, again, I don't really attach to two dimensional characters, but like, whatever on that, um, they have a purpose somewhere in the system. Um, so I'm reading to this, uh, piece that he, that he suggested um, I also, so I didn't lose that thread of reality or he, I, I hit the share button and I, I commented on his side and then I shared it on my page. So now there's a thread link so I don't lose it. So I, today I could reference back to that, whatever, in trying to organize myself. Um, so in like hyperspace, but anyhow, so I was reading, um, it was dark energy, um, 
this dark energy. There's a new theory on dark energy, um, but all in the context of Albert Einstein. And then it said something about Luxembourg. Again, I'm not highfalutin, so, or like high scholar. Um, I've been kept in a series of room at a very stupefied, simple level. Um, but I, when I read these things, I know I'm a com cosmolo I, I qualify as a cosmological construct and a cosmological constant. And I own the piece of the future. I mean, I cloned my own biological clock and brought forth, I mean, a clockmaker, star maker, these things really do have precedence. Um, and importance in certain circles. I just don't know which ones and to whom to address and what to say since I've been kept at this almost simple level with like this untapped potential. Um, but to others in some field that's very competitive only with other pieces that are not cosmological constant with future attached to them um, or some alternate future that pulls off the destiny, um, it then becomes really treacherous. So I try to stay out of the competitive market on that. I'd know that I already have like this very definable, discernible and innocent piece. Um, and I'm watching all the criminality as it dances around and how it's put forth this hunger games from the some area of arena. I see the NFL conference and the AFC conference uh, has picked up on it. It looks like, or it would appear to be so. I can't confirm or deny it, but I'm looking at Ben's gals and at the Chiefs. And I know that my mother and I were not treated in the way that a cosmological constant with the uppity crew who knows these things years in advance. I know we were not treated properly um, for such an honor. Um, and my children have not been received in any kind of honored way uh, my entire life cycle has been dishonored at almost like every stretch it would appear after uh, a certain time frame. But that's all inside the time mechanics and the time machine and the time capsule that was built. It's built. It's here. I rely upon it for evidence of what they're doing in some unbeknownst section while this, like, and it's not even egregious because I didn't agree to it. I don't know who took my, like, over, like, superseded, usurped. They usurped my control and my mastery and what I bring into the world. And then they preyed upon it and played upon it to benefit all sorts of new pathological like defiance it's disgusting um but it's easily traceable i mean once you know where the cosmological constant is and where the future is i mean it is astrologically and mathematically possible with poly science and the correct agency in order to correct all of the wrongs that had been done um and have like superpower behind you in knowing where the innocent discrepancy is and how all of the others have exacerbated this one point in order to expand dark space and in order to expand research and development and all of this other stuff into all of this really dangerous new system of dystopian.
And now it's at a point in its life cycle that looks really dangerous. Um, then while I was on physics.org, I expanded um, and was looking at some of the other pictorials or anagrams or ideograms uh, for visual whatever frequency that I was looking for, um, like what is on my frequency. Um, and there was, uh, people standing on a plane, P-L-A-N-E, uh, and then there was almost time and space warped, like the fabric of time and space warped into a parabola, um, And that definitely caught my attention. And then I read the words in it and I get how in conjecture they may have meant it on one side of the parabola. But then of course there's the way uh, that a time machine is created and a time encapsulate. So anyhow, so uh, fascinating things to ponder but I'm looking for the application and the practicality of it. And then I'm looking on the television today at the CBS um, and how they're using the time they've wasted of mine uh, while I'm trapped here in these series of rooms um, with no money, no access to health care that I actually need. It's some kind of like self-service proxy system, it feels like at this point. Um... And I'm in this flag system. So I'm watching. And now they're going back six administrations looking for classified documents. And I'm like, I sure hope that the way that I'm interpreting it and reading it is what the word classified actually means. But we'll see about that. If an IED and all at class. Um... It's just SSIA on that one, I suppose. Something with internal affairs, I'm hoping. But then again, that seems to be what the NFL, like the football conference, is like alluding to in Ben's gals at the Chiefs and the... 49ers up against the American Eagles being now my cosmological certain and and delivered children um and then the grandparents and what did the grandparents accomplish in their life frame I mean like I'm this transition in this time frame between how unhappy my children are as to my situation when I arrived and what the grandparents had the ability to do and either were able to do it or were withheld from participating actively in what needed to be done so my children inherited a better world and not a more dangerous place, which is where they're at now. Um... So that seems to be like on big game arenas like Rome in the romanticism of it's not what it's cracked up to be. And like humanity, it seems really pointless, very showsmanship. And it definitely feels like Hunger Games for which there's some usury going on, which is illegal in certain law books. I'm just not quite sure why when it comes to the human participants who have no choice and never have how do they ever gain their autonomy once trapped in this level of system i don't know is that like an adams 12 question or am i not allowed to ask somebody who's an active participant and part of one of the major problems in my lifetime
So here we are on this alert this morning about these classified documents. They're apparently, it says handle, handling of, and it says National Archives. And it's on CBS this morning. We turn next now to Washington, where the National Archives now wants all former presidents and vice presidents to check their personal records for anything marked classified. That follows, of course. So not the presidents of history in the making prior to my arrival on Earth in 1978. Um, these are the presidents from the 1980s into the now is who they're asking. They're not going back to ask Tom's, like the ancestry presidents uh, preceding to like the George Washingtons, Ben Franklin, the Lincoln, that sort of thing. They're asking the seated faces of the North American or the American presidency during the time frame for which I was Ameri North American fitted. There was a fitness test at the beginning at the Ronald Reagan. There were people from the Air Force who came in to make sure we didn't have spinal bifida and that we were proportioned properly. There were also swim interactions for a one-time whatever, fly by night, I suppose, if that's who they are. This morning, I also watched Tune In With Me. Over the last three days, they had uh, the best dressed. They had some Australian reference and today's Fantastic Friday. And in the Fantastic Friday, which not, has a hashtag and a 63, um, I can't even sit through most of the cartoons because it's hooey. I, I don't even see it as like some, like I don't even recognize it. First, the discovery of classified items in the homes of President Biden, former President Trump, and former Vice President Mike Pence. As Robert Costa reports, some officials are now suggesting the government's overall system of handling sensitive records is broken. The past six administrations, dating back to Ronald Reagan, were asked by the National Archives on Thursday to recheck for classified material. People need to be uh, conscious of the rules regarding classified information and appropriate handling them. The How are the children and who checks on the children to make sure that they're safe and well treated? Is anybody doing like a home inspection and making sure that they're all right? A warning from the FBI director comes after classified documents were found at the homes of a current and former president, plus a former vice president who said this just two weeks ago. Our staff reviewed all of the materials in our office and in our residence to ensure that uh, there were no classified uh, materials that, that left of the White House. Face the nation's Margaret Brennan spoke to the chair and vice chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, who are pushing intelligence officials for more information across the board about the sensitive paper. Now, when I was asked to go to Canada for that business trip with one of the locals that I was doing business with, um, it was within Obama's administration. Whatever it means. Papers that have been found. The notion that we're going to be left in limbo and we can't do our job, that just cannot stand. If, in fact, those documents were very sensitive, materials were sensitive, then the intelligence agencies are tasked with the job of coming up with ways to mitigate that. In Pence's case, part of the explanation from one source is that Trump discouraged aides from admitting defeat and preparing to move out. So Pence's aides didn't begin packing until after the Capitol attack. Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, now a critic, says the process of dealing with classified records at the end of an administration has concerning gaps. The transition out process for presidents and vice presidents is obviously flawed. 
Later today, former Vice President Pence is scheduled to speak in Miami, his first public appearance since the story broke this week. And on Capitol Hill, Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas is now threatening to hold up Biden administration nominees until officials share more details about what they know about all these records. Gail. And so it continues. Thank you, Bob. This morning, Ukraine's military says Russian forces have stepped up attacks just days after the U.S. and its allies agreed. Now, here's their mention about this uh, national football conference. Championship on CBS. You hear that music? It's win or go home. Two teams will punch their tickets to the Super Bowl this weekend. In the NFC, it's the 49ers who travel to the city of brotherly love for a battle. So there's the Eagles, and there's the 49ers. Battle with the Philadelphia Eagles Sunday. Then it's a rematch of last year's AFC title game between the Bengals and the Chiefs right here on CBS. The great Jim Nance of CBS Sports will be calling the game from Kansas City and joins us right now. Jim, good morning. How are you doing? Now, this is Tune In With Me, Me TV for Wednesday. This is a flashback to Best Dressed. Um, and it, it has this conversation between a man who's wearing whatever, I, I mean, like the level of clothing that I'm wearing, and he's claiming to be the best dressed, and the, the puppet, the tuna fish is saying, or the Muppet, like, well, it's not a Muppet, it's a, it's a puppet, is saying to him, um... And again, I don't know, marionette, and I'm not really clear, says to him, um, well, how do you know? And he's like, well, I'm on the cover of a magazine that says I'm the best dress. Right. So like that's their only level. I mean, like they have to have some kind of agreement together in this pathological society. So there's some network of agreement that they give one another in order to gain strength and power in order to pull off these things. Again, I'm just the cosmological constant in dark energy, which is a field that has actual practicality. I should have gone to divination school. I was, I should have automatically been absorbed into like, Wizard and wizard, wizardry and divination. Immediately, I should have been brought to that level of education and society because of the special cosmological constant I was going to have in a dark energy field somewhere out in the distance from the star that I arrived on. That was already known. My grandfather knew about it, but now he's not here to reference any longer. He was told by his most respected contacts from his most respected profession before and during while I arrived. He confirmed it for me at his draft table while he was using his quill on blot paper. WJLP Middletown, New Jersey. Me TV is memorable entertainment television. Today on Tuning With Me, cartoons featuring some fashionable characters, including Bugs Bunny, the Pink Panther, and Daffy Duck. Plus, I've been named one of the best dressed celebrities of 2023. Surprise? Uh, yeah. Hey. Now, I'm having a hard time in placement. At times, I feel like Daffy Duck is some Golden Knights Army representative. Um... And then there's times, because again, all in black with the white collar looks very priestly. 
Um, but I don't normally think of the Golden Knights as fathers in a church somewhere, especially since there's so many choices of church. And I'm really not sure how Golden Knights work. I've only seen them on the two-dimensional spectrum. Uh, I really don't have any three-dimensional experience with them whatsoever. Don't know why. Um, and if I do have experience with them, they didn't identify as such. But I do find it interesting with the Bugs Bunny character. Like, and I'm like, okay, so now is that the Bugs? Is that Borsz? Because that's the word for God in Polish. Elsewhere at Godwinson. I'm just curious. Or is that Bugs is in surveillance? <laughs> Good morning, tuners. I'm so glad you could join us. You are officially looking at one of the 10 best dressed celebrities for 2023. <laughs> oh, man, it's hilarious. Hey, kudos to the writers. You guys really outdid yourselves on this one. Uh, Tuny, come on, that wasn't a joke. It's real. I'm just stating the facts. Come on, writers. Try harder. Get back to work, you lazy bums. I'm sorry you were saying, Bill. Well, anyway, since I am one of the 10 best dressed celebrities for 2023, I figured we'd take a look at some cartoons with some dapper characters sporting some very fancy threads. Like this classic for director Frizz Freeling with Bugs Bunny wearing a tuxedo. Here is Rhapsody Rabbit. Now, because normally in this section of fashionistas they expect best dressed on a red carpet going to some academy award show and that's the only version of best dressed and then they put them in like some magazine somewhere that like i've never read because i don't order magazines lynn's got some magazine called people but it's she knows the faces i have no idea i don't i don't study that kind of human, whatever. So now on Thursday, they had some Australian reference, and now today's Fantastic Friday with the hashtag of 63. In Middletown, New Jersey, MeTV is memorable entertainment television. Today on Tune In With Me, Bugs Bunny is honored by some old friends. Wiley Coyote tries to trip the Roadrunner. And we're celebrating another fantastic Friday. What's up, Doug? Be very, very quiet. Beep, beep. Oh, for a sucker fish. You're despicable. It's tuning with me. Good morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Bill, your cartoon curator. And right over there is my favorite fish friend, Toonie the Tuna. And today is a fantastic Friday where we answer questions and take requests from you, our lovely viewers. Our first question today comes from Chant, who lives out in New Jersey. Chant writes, I've been a fan of your show since episode one. So when did Daffy Duck transition from being a funny, zany, and wacky character to being more of a foil for other characters? <laughs> Oil. I find that word so interesting. It's zany. It's not something that they normally use on the big kid shows. But and then I'm listening because Daffy Duck changed, right? So the so is that like confirmation that the Golden Knights have changed in the New York area? I found that interesting. Why would they have changed? Who would have changed them? What's going on? Is that part of the compromise or the problem? in my area security. Hey, thanks for being a loyal viewer, Chan. Yeah, and a great question too, by the way. The original Daffy Duck was a wacky screwball, no question. To give you an idea of his personality, here's a look at his debut in the 1932 cartoon, Porky's Duck Hunt. <laughs> it's me again. Uh, and the other thing is, is that they have a cartoon on this morning I found very interesting. They, show someone who was not allowing the children to go to the local schools and then the local schools are called red schools and I'm like I have never heard that before and then later on because it's some screwy squirrel um the big bad wolf comes on with little red riding hood and the squirrel gets all mad and's like excuse me this is not your show 
where it look it says whatever and there's some truancy officer there and i'm like now this is really confusing and like what didn't the 49ers ever speak of around the house and the red school if that's what they're calling it and the red white and blue with the 50 stars weren't explaining to the children any of this internal audit jargon of sorts? Well, were they already distrustful of the children receiving this education or lack thereof education or some twisted version of education? <laughs> So, uh, when did he become more of a greedy, hot-headed character we know and love today? Well, Tony, different directors started experimenting with his personality in the early 1950s. Fans can really notice this when Daffy's paired with the cool and always clever Bugs Bunny. Well, hey, it always made for great comedy, if you ask me. Oh, I agree with you, Tony. By the late 1960s, Daffy Duck's personality had been completely redesigned. Hey, how about we watch one of those cartoons where he's the foil to Bugs Bunny right now, huh? So is that confirmation that the heart, my heart and soul of like New York, like have the army, like the, is my national guard redesigned? Like what exactly does that Daffy reference with Golden Knights actually mean? Because I don't really understand how that's going to work in actuality. Chris Freeling directed this one and it's called... This is a life. I find it interesting they use the name Foster for foster children and some theory of orphanage since I've got cosmological constant and certain things to do and yet I'm stuck at some level of foster fight over orphanage and foster family it feels Now, I arrived in 1978, and that was like the theme of the first few years of my life. I walked around asking the adults. I was the only child, so I didn't have siblings, and I had cousins, but I didn't really connect with them. I didn't really understand, like, this, they like to play play but their plays didn't really make sense like I was looking at the adults like what are you teaching them like why what's the purpose of this I mean like there was like real in-depth questions I just wasn't wired into the system the way that the rest were from the beginning then I also had these naps where I would go and have these like visionary whatever and then like a paranormal experience and then I come back and try to explain to the adult the adults well while you're here with my body I go somewhere else and I'm already concerned about my future and my children's future which I guess is why my one grandfather the one that was alive was allowed to know certain physics things based on his Red Cross experience to try to help me somewhere in my life. I hope he made a document somewhere on file in important things. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tonight we add another name to the long list of those we have honored. Someone here in our audience is our guest of honor, and no one knows who it will be. He is a beloved character who has made his name in motion pictures. One who is thoughtful of others. That's me. 
It's going to be me. A sparkling personality, generous, charitable, self-effacing. <laughs> this would be embarrassing if it weren't true. And what is your name, sir? As he does the name, as if it weren't inscribed in gold on that little old book. <laughs> you master showman, you. You may precede me to the stage, sir. Aren't you, Bugs Bunny? Who, me? Never mind him. We've only got a short time to do my interesting career. Let's get on with it. Read the name. Good and loud, mister. Bugs Bunny! We are honoring you tonight, Bugs. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 not little old me. How do you like that? Now, wouldn't that gall you, sister? This is supposed to be my life. So what do they do? They take an unknown, and of all things, a rabbit. Who's interested in a rabbit? Is this what you've been scratching around for, sister? Yes, it is. Is this my 80 for Brady club wanting to hit over the head in this late stage? Perhaps on my behalf, not to my behest. And now maybe you'll keep that yellow beak closed for a while. I'm trying to look at the show. Are you really surprised, Bugs? <laughs> I'm all excited. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Let us take a chapter from the life of this lovable personality. His devotion to others and self-sacrifice. <laughs> How sickening can you get? Uh, tell us about your life, Bugs. Oh, I'm, I'm so unimportant. Easy, stomach. Don't turn over now. Easy does it. Start from the beginning. Well, in the beginning, there was no life. The earth was forming. Boom! The earth shivered from earthquakes. Mountains forming. Oceans boiling. All's quiet. A little pool of water forms. In that pool, two tiny amoeba, the star of life. No, no, that's too far back. Oh, 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 I see. Well, it was on the east side where my parents resided, amidst humble surroundings. They was busy preparing the bassinet for the bundle of joy the stork was bringing. <laughs> Yeah, most of the cartoons around here, when it came to addressing how are the children delivered, it was by Stork, S-T-O-R-K, and whatever that represents in the larger dark space unit of theory that actually has practicality to it. It's just not, again, taught in the red schools. Um, however, when you're born in this cosmologically certain and biological anatomical clock feature with self-replicating capabilities. It's a little hard when you have this very pronounced position amongst humanity. It's hard in three dimension. Like it just, it gets drawn out. It gets pulled out. It's just, I can't deny what and how it works, but I need help. But yet they've, it's pretty much like whatever ladder I needed to climb, it's like somebody removed it completely to strand me here in the situation. And whatever hand there was to hold, they removed my ability to have that in three dimension in physical contact for any long drawn out periods of time. For what reason? I have no idea. To develop more dangerous habits and territories and ideals? I have no idea. It seems like a really gigantic waste of life and time. It's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight. Oh, I have there's one other piece on this. Here's this piece about this squirrel, which I've never seen before, but obviously it's an answer to something today. And 
It's called the Screwy Truant. S C R E W Y T R U A N T. Directed by Tex Avery. <laughs> Again, the little schoolhouse has the flag in front of it. Same flag I have in the house. Same flag that they had at the school outside of the Citadel. I don't know if there was one flying in the Citadel. That would be something my grandfather would have looked for. Uh, but Anthony's going, no, my 2012 is going to the same school that I went to originally um, here uh, in Bayside. Um and I mentioned the metal, I took a picture of the metallurgy um, for the references. The Greek, I, I think it's a Greek or it's a Turkish reference. There's some fight going on there because they used to have a building where they had the stars and they had like a whole different um, teaching curriculum according to the principal of the school, of the elementary school. Um, and now that curriculum, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know why they're not teaching the children any of the important stuff. And here it says, Little Red Schoolhouse. Technicolor Red has gone to war. Now, I don't know, is that like the fee fi fo fum with the like big jack and the giant and the bean stock for the bean counters? Like, again, not quite sure. Because, like, is that what the fi says about like the IA, like the internal affairs of where I am? where I'm I've been and then whatever the foreign born is saying and some sibling rivalry that may be going on that I don't even have like access to and there's the truant officer Now there's something that goes on with the nose, uh, to golf ball. Then he starts to hurt the nose. I like, I, I don't really follow this and I really don't like the way that this is starting out. Um, and then he gets to the squirrely tail, um, and he pulls out all this fake squirrely tail. And then there's an anvil, an anvil and then there's tax, like a whole set of tactical whatever or tax on the floor. In the um, cartoons that I saw growing up um, when I went to go visit my relatives, there was a lot of anvils. I did not know what that reference was to. And the humans, like, on my, my Irish side didn't really have answers as to what an anvil was or what it represented. (laughs) 
And it says long darn tail, wasn't it? And here's all the tacks that the screwy squirrel put in the way. causing truancy to go flat. Well, if that's not frightening for the children at the Red School or the children that don't even know what Red School is. Oh, brother, now I've seen everything. <laughs> so there's the big bad wolf and little red riding hood. running to grandma's house, which I find interesting. Because on the door it says closed, gone to Lockheed, granny. Imagine that no door with a red brick wall. Oh, brother, what a dumb brick. Boy, I'm not a muck. I got the pedigree for a bell down, sisters. Look. That's the end of whatever it is today. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.